then there's levels of intensity. The, the biggest thing to get used to is operating under intensity. People, I call it, you know, freeze squeezing up. the toothpaste. Well, no, not just freeze up. Some freeze up. You know, it's fight or flight for a reason and freeze. It's fight, flight, or freeze, you know? But it's like, whoa, you get into a certain scenario, it's intense. You will be surprised how you first react. You know what I mean? You're not sitting here calm, logically, like, I would never do that, bro. You'd be like, no. You really don't know until you squeeze the toothpaste. Yeah, you know what you, I mean? You don't know until you're in the situation. Right. Believe me. And then it's literally just like, just go back to the basics. It's like, all right, well, how do I do the basics when, you know, someone's shooting back? Yeah. You know? So then then it's just like, so we, we, we just, we make, we're, I'm very brilliant at... uh Increasing those scenarios, shoot, no shoot, different target, moving targets, you know, different sounds, different things. We just keep increasing sensory input so you still operate the same way. We just got to learn how to shut everything off and get the job done. Focus yeah. and get the job done. Yeah, you're super inti intelligent because I can tell you think before you speak. I, I, I can, I, you know, because I read body language, you know what I mean? Because yeah. I just, should. just. A long time ago, I really had to know what I what the fuck was going on. Fair enough. So, and, and I, I see, like, you'll pause for a second and you think before you speak. Yeah, yeah. So, you're very intelligent. So. I appreciate that. And they, I'm not kissing your ass. I'm just... Yeah, my it. friends call it the Christopher Walken pause. <laughs> 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 I'd be like, uh... Yeah, then I'll finish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's true. Well, you know, you ever... Elon Musk is like that, too. Like, when you yeah. ask him something, he'll pause. Because his mind's going, like, a million miles an hour. And I yeah. think he has to like try to gather what the fuck he's gonna say. Yeah, you know what I mean. I actually think Kanye West is extremely smart too. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I just I do think it for he's I think he needs some mental help, but focus, focus, focus. focus. Give yeah. him some ADHD. Motive now. Yeah, yeah well, let, let him go run five miles with me. There you go. Sit, yeah, sit down yeah, and relax. You gotta tell me that story once we go through <laughs> your courses. Long range rifle course. I have a uh, one all Marines train out to five hundred yards as basic. Mm. Five football fields is our basic. Five football fields. That's, that's misspelled. Make sure that's fixed. Yeah. Five hundred fucking yards. Yeah, so we do five hundred yards as our basic marksmanship. Um, so all Marines are that way. However, that's a fucking shot there, man. Yeah, it's all right. It's not too bad. Well, for you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. For the average, I mean, look in this, you know, in, in an urban environment, you're not taking too many five hundred yard shots. So you know, zero to three hundred would probably be max if 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 you need be. But why not learn it? Fuck it. Yeah. So you know, have a Marine Corps sniper instructor. He was former sniper instructor, That's... chief instructor at sniper school. He comes in. He does that with me. We can get. Um, we have a very special facility that we have access to. And then they have, have out to uh, one mile. They have a one mile range, so we can go out to mile? a mile. Yeah, you yeah, can yeah. hit something a mile away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With a, with a laser? No, lasers don't even. Go you away. can hit something a mile away with no laser, no nothing. You can just take a. It's if a, I gave you a forty-five, you could hit it a mile. No, away. no, it's a special rifle. Oh. Like there's there's particular rifles and and what we call optics that could do it. You know, there's a there's a there is a ton of math. There's a there's a ton of geometry and math that goes into that pressure, barometric pressure, humidity. You know how tall are you? Like, there's there's all types of math that yeah, go into that's all that. that marine shit, right? <laughs> <laughs> but it's possible. It's 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 definitely possible. Private sessions. Some people, um, you know, we we do courses and then yeah. Explain to want... me the private sessions. That's custom tailored. That depends on their level of experience. I have some people that um, I would say don't want to be seen in public or in classrooms or something of that nature. Then I have some that just love the train so much. You know, have people that train with me twice a month that you know they go to me more than they go to the chiropractor if you will and then that depends on their skill development or something particular they want to work on i've get people from all walks of life you know what i mean and they 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 kind of like hey here's my living scenario this is what i got to look out for and then we'll train and, and you know what makes their life better what what applies to their life right if that makes sense you know and what then I mean? we have form experiences that's more for like businesses um like a business experience, corporate America experience. Uh, it's an organization called EO. And they get together to be part of EO. It's an entrepreneurial organi organization. To be part of that, you have to have a business worth a million dollars. And then there's a membership fee. And what they do is they really meet quarterly, monthly, sometimes, something of that nature. Brainstorm, hey, what's going on in your business? This is a solution. They hold each other accountable. It's it's qu quite a good organization, actually. So what we do for them is what we've been doing, actually get together when they have these kind of get-togethers, is we custom tailor experience for them. And what do they take home? 
aggressive initiative. You know what's out of corporate America? Like when they say it gets done, it gets done or it doesn't. There's no in between. You know what I mean? And we teach it's a world of absolutes. A, did you get the project out or not? You know what I mean? And they take that back with them also into their business. So that had, that really has nothing to do with artillery or anything else? No. Wow, that's interesting. No. You know, it's funny. I was, uh, yeah. So with that, we're surprised. Like, one good thing, good thing, there's something that's good that comes out of everything in some way. And yes, war's been hell. We've been at war for too long, you know. But we've been fighting an insurgency war for a long time. Somebody guerrilla warfare trying to get in our doors and get at us on a very local level it's not like hey here's the germans here's the americans let's clash in two big lines you know what i mean see who wins you know so guys that have been at this for a little while we see the world a little bit differently and even in corporate america it's funny there was a company i was i knew of and talked to their job was tracking ships around the world you understand so they had this big room full of servers. Like their computers were their whole business. You understand what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yes, they had locks on the door. They have security? No. They didn't even have somebody standing there. You understand? It was like, oh, we got them in this room and there's a double lock. And they're all smoking and joking and everything's fine. I'm like, okay, that's cool. Has anybody looked at the roof? <laughs> it's like, right. whoa, I mean, you okay. got 70, you know, you got 700 servers here with all kinds of intelligence on it. And, and you don't have anybody to protect any of that. Yeah, well, they, they were paid to track international shipping, right? So they were like, if, you know, they could be like, this ship is here in the world. It's going to arrive here at that time. And all that information is super important. Does that make sense? Yes. Well, like, did you waterproof the roof? And it was like, well, some as simple as a water leak and reroute the pipings around this room could put your whole business down. And it was that threat assessment of like, oh, we didn't think about that. And it was like... Well, okay, yeah, it might cost you fifty grand to do that or a hundred grand to do that to the roof, but like literally that your whole business comes down to this. It could be something as a water leak in the roof. You know what I mean? That was a good move to put that in there. So our threat assessments, kind of looking at the corporate world, hey, what do you deal with in your business? Or are there multiple businesses in the room? And just from dealing with people look my wife just had a trash can fire outside the door of that place and the sprinklers go off and from that I just ruined their whole business. Whose idea was it to add this to the courses? You or Sam? Um, it was actually a student of ours was part of it. And she was, a couple of them are actually part of it. And they came to us like, man, we're about to have this, you know, meeting. We call them forums, get together type deal. We'd love to have you there. We did one and it was like through the roof. It was amazing. And then it was like, you got to do this, you know? So we let the market tell us. I think, <clears throat> I think that was a killer move putting that in there, bro. I awesome. think that was a killer move. Thank you. Yeah, it was a really good move. Click on courses, actual courses that you can kind of there. You got a couple scheduled. Now, <clears throat> go yep. back to uh, Chrome. Oh, it's there. Just click on the top, just like actual that courses. actual number. Yeah, yeah click yeah. right there. There you go. And scroll down. That's our calendar of events. You can go through there. Um, so now, if somebody wants to sign up for you know you're you're done, I guess for September, right? Uh, for the most part. Yeah. What's today's date? Yeah, the next one's the next base. Well, like actually, October, no, 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 October no. You got one tomorrow. You got long day training tomorrow. Uh, that one we ended up moving. I did it already. On the twenty fifth, it's not up there yet. So, so what we, excuse me, every once in a while we'll throw in specialty workshops. Like, if I get somebody that's a, a professional in a certain area, does that make sense? Then yeah. we'll just kind of do one off shops. It's not necessarily part of our, um basic curriculum if you will but i've still worked with a lot of guys that contract they're super active i mean they've just done one thing for 10 or 15 years so well and they teach it so well and then if i have access to them we'll bring them in and we'll do specialty courses so this is what we're going to do there yeah yeah i mean and it's not really that bad like if you go down to long day training i mean 695 that ain't shit um uh, uh, home defense workshop was 695 that's a full eight hours room clearing how to yeah, deal with your family yeah, long kinda, training day was like yeah. 295 the long training days are 295 yeah. good shit yeah i mean fuck so now if somebody wants to say somebody wants to do a private session with you right mm -hmm. now you don't have anything scheduled do you schedule them or, or you work it out yeah there's a um, this calendar is just getting built out and we'll have the accessibility for the privates on here so you'll just click a button um 
This just went up like three days ago, so we're in a process of a of getting it all together, redoing it right now. Hit the contact, call the five six one number on there. Samantha yeah, I have all that in the it. description for yeah, you. Yeah, Samantha will schedule it. If you wait like another week or so, then they'll all be in there. You could click an available date and time. Yeah, go and to we our could mission. Do that. Go to our mission. Now, Alex, how many people do you take? Um, like, so, like when you have like the course on the twenty fifth, I believe. Is Correct. That, yeah. Is there a certain amount of, do you have a limited number of people that you take? Great question. So what we do is we do limit the amount of people. Um, I'm not necessarily the cheapest guy. It's not super expensive. But what we do is we limit our courses um, to 10 people for the most part. And then we'll have at least two instructors, if not two to three safety officers. So it's like a two to one ratio. For every two students, there's somebody like watching them, making sure everything's going smooth. And then there's a lot of attention to detail. So... When you're a class of 35 or 40 people and there's a couple instructors, you're shooting, you're doing whatever here. By the time they get down to tell you, hey, don't do it that way, you've done it 200 times and we call that a training scar. Now you got to untrain that and fix it. Does that yeah, make sense? Absolutely. So we catch it super early like, nope, do it right. Nope, do it right. Nope, adjust this. Nope, do this. Nope, do this. So we don't let you kind of get something instilled that's not good. Does that make sense? So yeah. it's a lot of personal attention, super safe, you know? You don't get people waving around doing whatever they want to do. Fucking gun, yeah. yeah, exactly. So we'll limit classes to 10 and then uh, a lot of personal attention. Yeah, I, I completely understand because uh, Sam had asked me what else I do. And I said, you know, I do SEO marketing, coding, mm. you know, ranking on other shit. And I have 10 good contracts and I keep it at 10. Unless it's something, unless somebody comes to me that I like, that I want to do, you could come to me and offer me fifty thousand a month. If it's some like website that I don't want to do it and I'm not interested in it, or I just know it's going to be a bitch, I don't want it because I don't want the headache. You know what I mean? So I I keep it to ten, be, and I can relate to what you're saying because, say I do twenty, right? Then I can't put enough attention in the ten that I have. So if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it right. So when I do it, I have them come in, sign your contract with a lawyer, and you know marketing because, yeah. you know, oh, yeah. these fucks think that in two days you're going to be on page one. And yeah, then, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. So, you know, you know, like you're mid-range, you know, and I charge, and I don't, I'm not cheap, you know, because you get the cheap shit, then all you, all you hear is the complaining, right? So I've been doing this for 17 years you know, all my life through everything. I've always been doing the marketing. So I have 10. I keep it at 10. I won't take any more unless it's something really, really, you know, whatever. And when I do it, I do it with lawyers so that in three months you can't come to me right. and say, hey, I'm paying you this much and I'm still on page five. Right. Now, you're signing a year contract. Right. The 17th of every month. And, you know, by the time we're done, this is where I guarantee you'll be because I check the code and everything, make sure, sure it's gonna gonna get there. But so I can understand why you would keep it limited, especially with this shit. You know, this is, <laughs> I mean, I'm talking about a computer. This is, you know, you're you're waving pistols around. Yeah. You know, you don't want you know thirty people there and some idiot you know fucks it up. You got it, like you said, for every one, for every two, there's one. For every two students, there's one at like least safety officer over, yeah. right over top of you. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, it's literally eyes on is what we call it. Okay. You, know? you want to read your mission? Sure. My mission, create a world of courageous warriors. Throughout my life and travels, I became aware that we live in a fear-based world. Many of the problems facing us individually and collectively need solutions. Courage is not the solution to all problems. Courage is the access to the solution. To have the ability, the ability to face life and stress head on is what we call capability. Go down, Don. To be capable of living a long, productive life without courage and spirit. Um, I did Kosovo. I was the first American flight in Kosovo, first American unit, and I also served in Africa, a few campaigns in Africa, and came home. And how was Africa? Enlightening. He learned a lot. <laughs> Why do you say that? Um, well, you, you know, I was homeless as a young man. And I used to go study a lot. I would just read books. I love the gobble books. You know what I mean? And a lot of things I read from Freud and Jung and Maslow, Maslow's Hierarchy of Needs. Well, it, it, it didn't become intellectual. Like experiencing society at that level was like, whoa, this is what they mean by a progression. There's, you know, base needs. And then you can progress up this pyramid of hierarchy of needs for sure, you know. 
So even though I was poor, somewhat homeless, I always had food to eat for the most part. Maybe not always, but let's just say I didn't have it that bad. You know what I mean? Like no matter how bad I thought I had it when I went to Marine Corps, once I got to see the world, I realized that I had it pretty damn good. Because you thought you were going to go over there and see lions and tigers, right? <laughs> and you go the fuck over there and you're like, okay, well, you know, this traveling around thing wasn't really that bad. It might have seemed bad at the time, but then when you see how other people live, right, then you realize, well, maybe I didn't have it that bad. Yeah, let's just say there's not a middle class. There's a very small class of haves, and then the rest are have-nots. And the have-nots have not. So over there it's like rich, poor, that's it. Rich and starving. That's it. One or the other. Yeah. Like, and were you guys on the starving side? No, no. So we went in and we were protecting the embassy. There was something going on in the country. I won't say where. And look, there's there, Africa is a big place. And yeah. there's some places that it's, it's modernizing. There's a lot of things that are going better. There's, there's, you know, some awesome things happening there. So I'm not knocking the whole country. Um, just where I was at the time that I was there. It was on the west coast of Africa, right around the Horn. Look, there's a lot that goes on. I mean, I, I can imagine it. Imagine you're, you know, living on this one side and there's a big wall and you're looking on that side. And it looks like Miami Beach and mansions and money and hotels and everything's perfect. And you're like boiling leaves off a tree to try and make a soup. The fuck? At some point in time, you're going to be like, yo, fuck, this. I'm going over there to get something. You know, so there's this constant pull between the classes. I can't will. believe they have mansions over there. I, I never knew that. Oh, it's brilliant. I mean, you can look it up on no, I believe maps. You. You'd yeah. be surprised. You know, it's oil wow. money. There's a lot of oil. Um, and that was another thing. When I was, you know, researching you, that they have oil over in Africa. I had no idea. I thought it was all like uh, Middle East. The West Coast of Africa is full of, I mean, they call it Mother Africa for a reason. It is the mother of the earth. And what is it? Mother? Minerals. I mean, gold, diamonds. Uh, lithium oil there's there's just a ton of everything in africa it's mineral rich you know does africa have anything to do with the guy the gas prices going up now no the gas prices going up now were a decision by this administration of cutting off the pipeline so now we're completely reliant i mean look if your neighbor made something let's say your neighbor bottled water and you could walk next door and buy that water or if you made your own water then you wouldn't have to go anywhere to go get that water. You understand what I mean? Well, now we have to go somewhere. And when you have to go somewhere and you're dependent on that, they get to make the prices. Supply and demand, you know? So we upped a lot of the supply. We didn't have to pay so much, and it was independent. It was right, you know, right down the road, basically, if you will, within this country. So um, by having to go across the world to get it, we're dependent on them. Because prior it was cheaper because why, yeah, I should be asking you. Mm -hmm. So why was it, in the prior administration, why was it so much cheaper? Uh, pipeline. Keystone the, Pipeline. Pipeline from thing? Canada. You know, shale oil. Um, why in the fuck, fracking, why in the fuck would thing. he do that? Why would he shut that down? And the reasoning presented to the public was that fracking has a negative effect on the environment. Don't give me this climate shit. So that was pretty much it. It's like, okay, we'll save the climate and we'll deal with it a certain way. But the thing is, is it still comes out of the ground. Yeah. <laughs> you understand <laughs> what I mean? Well, okay, we're not getting it out of our ground, but we're still taking it out of the ground somewhere else. You know? Well, you know, they're, they they want everything to be electric by 2025, 20, I was reading. I forget, I was reading in something. Yeah. Like every car to be electric. Sure. I mean, that's a fucking joke. Yeah. Well, it's funny. It's like, let's not take it out of the ground here. So we'll take it out of the ground halfway across the world. Then there's a ship and a plane and forklifts and material. And by the time you burn up all that oil, you've done triple the amount of carbon in the field because you didn't want to get it from here. Yeah. No, you know? See, nobody nobody <laughs> thinks of it. Like, well, you don't, they know it, but you don't hear that. All you hear is, well, this is better for the environment. or this No, you give better. them too much credit. They really don't know it. 